so I'm going to kind of jump around a little bit today, but we are looking still at that habitually meditating, studying and pondering the Word of God and why we must train ourselves, why we must make it a habit to be in His Word. And so um, I want to go into, we, we ended last week, we looked at a scripture in 2 Timothy and it said that every scripture is God-breathed, given by His inspiration, profitable for instruction, for reproof and conviction of sin, for correction of error and discipline and obedience, and for training in righteousness, in holy living, in conformity to God's will, in thought, purpose, and action. And so it says there, and for training in righteousness. And this ties right along with what we were talking about yesterday, in that the Word of God, His breathed, He breathed His breath filled. <laughs> I should have thought about that before I said it. <laughs> but the word that God breathed, his very essence that he put in this word, is for training in righteousness, which is holy living in conformity to God's in to God's will in thought, purpose, and action. Which we talked about that. But if you think about that, training in righteousness, how to live righteous, well, Jesus said in Matthew 5, um, or 6, 33, he said, But seek, aim at, and strive after. What? First of all, first of all, it doesn't just seek you first the kingdom of God. It doesn't just say, seek him after you've tried everything else. It doesn't say, um, seek him after you've done da 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 Seek Him after you've thought about what you wanted to do. Seek Him after you've meditated on the problem. It says, first, first, seek. And then the Amplified Classic says, aim at and strive after. First of all, His kingdom and His righteousness. I, I love, well, you all know that I love this translation. But it breaks down righteousness as His way of doing and being right. And so we are to seek after, we are to aim at doing his way of doing and being right. And that goes back to that passage in 2 Timothy 3.16 that it says the word of God is for training in righteousness. So the word of God teaches us how to live holy and in conformity to God's will and thought, purpose, um, and action. And that when we do that, when we seek his kingdom first and when we learn and train ourselves to live righteous in his way of doing and being right, then, then all of these things taken together will be given to you besides. And you know what they were talking about in this particular passage because I never want to take scripture out of context. We want to use it and to read it and understand it in the context that it was given. Well, this is Jesus talking. He's been... Um, he's been talking about the kingdom and he's, he's teaching people and this, a lot of people you talk about this is like the Sermon on the Mount from Matthew 5 to Matthew 6. This is still Jesus talking and he, this, right before this, he's talking about serving God and man. So trusting in, um, man's system and man's kingdom to meet your needs or trusting in God and God's kingdom to meet your needs. How many know God's kingdom is going to win out every time? It does not make sense to us in the natural. We don't understand how he's going to do it, but he's going to do it and we're just going to be amazed at how he came through. But they were, he, they were talking about in the passage of Matthew 6, um, clothes. He said, therefore I tell you, stop being perpetually uneasy, anxious, and worried about your life, what you will eat or drink. Okay, that's food. About your body, what you'll put on it, that's clothes. Is, is not life greater than food and the body far more clothing? And then he says, look at the birds of the air and how your father takes care of them and how much more valuable are you than them to him. And see, he's talking about their physical needs in this world. Things that we need food, clothing, shelter, all necessities. And so, but Jesus says, if we will first take in the word, if we will first meditate and study his kingdom and his way of doing things, if we will get his laws, his teachings, his precepts, his instructions on the inside of us so that we know that we know that we know who he is and what he's going to do for us and but he does what he does for us because of who he is. Does that make sense? 
Because we're not seeking the benefits of being gods. We're seeking gods and we get the benefits. Just pausing on that for just a minute. I never want it to be said that I'm tell you know, that we love God so that we can get these things. No, 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 no. We love God and He gives us these things. He is a giving God. Oh, that's another sermon for another day. But he says, when we do take in the word and we meditate and we ponder, then all of these things will be given to you. Your food, clothing, shelter, what you need for this life. And so we're at five and a half minute mark and we're going to leave you with that today, but we'll pick up again. And um, I can't, I'm really enjoying this. Can't wait to get into it again with you. Bye.